hello everyone today in this video we'll be solving the uh, third module of uh, 21 mat 11 and in this module we have the main topics as the differential equations so the first topic is the linear and bernoulli's differential equation how to identify what is uh, linear and what is bernoulli and how to convert bernoulli's equation into a linear and solve it and the second one is the exact and irreducible to exact okay and the third one is the uh, orthogonal trajectory and the uh, newton's law of cooling there are some numericals in that okay and after that we will be solving the non-linear differential equation and uh, after that we have the general and singular solutions and uh, Clairaut's equations and reducible to Clairaut's equations okay so these are the main topics in this module and all the topics are asked uh, means uh, repeatedly in exams so make sure you solve each, each, uh, each of the topics like uh, at least know the uh, technique to solve the questions under each of these topics okay so before beginning if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so let's get uh, started with the first topic so we are solving this first exact and uh, reducible to exact uh, differential equation okay so uh, this is the first question so we'll be just uh, solving the questions and uh, like uh, get uh, get to know the technique of solving the question okay so you'll be given with a question like this uh, in the exact form like uh, dy by dx plus uh, this equation is uh, this equation given here is equal to zero okay so at that time what you have to do is you have to separate the dx uh, terms and dy terms okay like uh, cross multiply it and you'll get uh, dx and dy terms after that uh, you have to take the terms with the dx as m and the terms with dy dy as n and after that separate m and n okay after you have written m and n you have to do dm by dy and uh, del n by del x means partially differentiate m with respect to y and partially differentiate uh, n with respect to x okay so and if, if you get the same answer that's the exact form okay so in this case the answer is 3 so that's the exact form so we'll be moving on with the solution the solution is as follows whatever m is there differentiate with respect to x and uh, integrate it and uh, n of y means only the y terms which you find that you have to write here and uh, integrate it okay after that what answer you get is your final answer okay this is the exact form now reducible to exact form how it will come is the same thing everything here the dx and dy terms you have separated here and you'll be taking m and n and you'll be differentiating partially with respect to y for m and partially differentiating n with respect to x and the answers you get are not same in case they are not same you have to make it same okay so how to make it same is that subtract it and what answer you get and uh, uh, that answer you see which uh, which uh, which of the n or uh, m it is close to if you take two common from here at that time uh, what answer you get is 2 into x plus y and here uh, if you take uh, 2 as common what you get is 2x plus 3y right so the, uh, those are the two answers which you get when you take the uh, common terms and uh, the n term is actually um, x into x plus 2y right that is the n term so uh, you have to see n term is more closer or n term is uh, m term is more closer in this case m term is more cl uh, n term is more closer so what you will do is you will be writing 1 by n and the subtractions uh, value here okay after that uh, when you uh, like uh, cancel the n term with the numerator you will be remaining with 2 by x okay that is f of x once you have got f of x you have to find the integrating factor which is e power integral f of x dx so integrating uh, means uh, finding out its uh, solution what you get is uh, e power log of x square that is nothing but x square okay so integrating factor once we have got find out the solution means uh, just multiply the integrating factor term with the m and the n terms here so when you multiply that and again find the del m by del y and del, uh, del n by del x you will get the same answers here so the equation is in uh, exact differential equation and then you will be uh, solving the solution here means uh, writing down the m term here and uh, integrating with respect to x and writing down the uh, y terms in n and uh, differentiating with uh, i mean integrating it with uh, respect to y so in this case there is no uh, n term which has only y in it uh, only y in it so we'll be not writing anything here so just uh, integrating this one and uh, means uh, solving it will get the final answer here okay th so those are the two types of questions exact and reducible to exact okay so if you uh, did not understand what's happening you can always uh, replay and watch again the explanation okay moving on we have the next uh, the uh, next topic which is linear and bernoulli's differential equation so first question is about the linear equation how can we identify if it's a linear equation observe carefully this is uh, q and uh, this is p and it is dy by dx okay so uh, with q if there is x here uh, that's okay but if y also comes that is the bernoulli's equation okay only x should be there then it's fine if it is dy by dx so it is the uh, linear form in linear form what we will do is this is p 
and this is q so it should be in this form dy by dx plus p of x uh, into y is equal to q of x so uh, take the value of p and q here and after we get the value of p and q find out the integrating factor as we have done before after finding out the integrating factor the solution is y into f is equal to integral q uh, or in, means integral q of x uh, into integrating factor dx okay when you substitute the values and uh, find out the integration you'll get the final answer here this is in the this is of the form the linear okay how does uh, Bernoulli's uh, form occur in the Bernoulli's form you'll have uh, y square here okay in, instead of just x, x here for dy by dx you'll have y square also so what you're supposed to do to remove this y square is that divide the whole equation by y square so when you divide the whole equation by y square what happens is here it will be 1 by y square, here it will be 1 by y, and here only it will be x, okay. Now take 1 by y as u. If you take 1 by y as u, it will be here u by x, and here it will be uh, u square dy by dx, right. And you will be differentiating it, uh, so what you get is minus 1 by y square dy by dx is equal to du by dx, okay. Means uh, differentiate this thing here, so you will get this one, okay. After you have got this one, you will be uh, substituting the value of um, d, uh, means uh, 1 by y square dy by dx in the place of uh, this one here what answer you will be substituting this answer okay minus du by dx so we'll get here minus du by dx plus 1 by x into u is equal to x now it is in the linear form rearranging the terms and finding out the p and q terms then finding out the integrating fa integrating factor and then uh, multiplying it with the solution like uh, u into if is equal to q dash x uh, integrating factor dx plus c here the only difference is that since we have uh, chosen integrating factor so it will be having the integrating factor here and since since uh, since it's in the second form it will be q dash okay instead of of q but if you know the value it doesn't make any difference okay so uh, that's all uh, we have to just integrate it and find the solution and simplify to get the final answer okay so this way the two forms linear and Bernoulli's equation okay Moving on to the next one, we have orthogonal trajectories and Newton's uh, law of cooling. In orthogonal trajectories, we will be given with a parabolic equation or an equation in the form of y is equal to something where a is the parameter. Okay, now what you have to do is differentiate uh, with respect to x first. After that, uh, what answer you get here? 2y dy by dx is equal to 4a. Now, uh, since y, is, y square is equal to 4ax, instead of 4a, I can write this one, right? What I mean is y square is equal to 4ax instead of 4 i'll cut it and write this one so what i get is y square is equal to 2y dy by dx into x okay then uh, it's just the simplification part and uh, what we are doing is to find out its uh, uh, means orthogonal trajectory what you have to do is you have to substitute y1 is equal to minus 1 by y1 okay like that we have to do so it will be like this dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy wherever you find dy by dx substitute uh, substitute it as minus dx by dy after that uh, simplify it and what answer you get is your final answer okay so another example here what you have to do is uh, this equation is given and prove that it's a self orthogonal where a is the parameter same thing write y here differentiate um, uh, with respect to x and what answer you get substitute for uh, for a here and simplify it so what answer you get is a is equal to this value okay now instead of 4 uh, a instead of a you will be writing this one so that uh, the a term goes and you'll be solving this one okay when you solve this one what answer you get is um uh, y dash is equal to 1 by y dash okay minus 1 by y dash it is actually minus 1 by y dash and we substitute this one here and wherever you find uh, y dash here substitute that as minus y, uh, 1 by y dash and uh, find out the answer when you find out the answer what uh, finally you get is this answer here and if you observe carefully the third uh, equation and the second equation are exactly same so if they are same even after substituting the value of y dash as 1 by y dash at that time you can say that it is a self orthogonal okay that's what we have to prove self orthogonal so these are the two types of question under the topic orthogonal trajectories and uh, moving on we have the newton's law of cooling so let's understand that uh, by an example so newton's law of cooling, uh, cooling what does it state the rate of temperature of a body is directly proportional to the difference between the temperature of the body and its surrounding okay so the more the difference is the rate of the temperature falling or increasing will be more okay so dt by uh, the temperature by time is directly proportional to the difference so here k is the constant and uh, integrating it and uh, taking the log we get the equation which we'll be using in the numericals okay t is equal to t naught initial temperature plus lambda is the constant e power minus kt 
suppose there is a copper ball at 80 degrees celsius cools down to 60 degrees celsius in 20 minutes okay so what is the change in temperature 80 to 60 it is 20 degree in uh, how much time 20 minute if the temperature of the surrounding being uh, 40 degrees celsius and the uh, temperature of the surrounding is 40 degree what will be the temperature on the ball if the uh, means after 40 minutes from the original okay so the temperature of the surrounding is t naught which is 40 degree and the temperature of the copper ball from uh, where to where it is um, 80 to 60 so according to newton's law t is equal to t naught uh, plus lambda into e power minus kt so here t naught is equal to 40 and lambda kt will be as follows and t will be as follows okay so the given the temperature of the ball t is equal to 80 degree at t is equal to 0 so we'll be writing 0 is equal to 40 into uh, lambda into e power minus kt since t is 0 e power 0 is 1 so we'll just have lambda here okay so lambda's value will get as 40 and that value will be using in the next equation t is equal to 40 plus 40 e power minus kt it's also given that the temperature of the the ball is uh, 60 degrees celsius and uh, reduced in 20 minutes so we'll be using these two things also in the formula so the, we'll get the value of k here then so get the value of k here what we get as um, this one 0 0.0346 and we uh, will be using the value of k in this equation now what is the question given is when t is equal to 40 minutes what is the temperature just substitute 40 in this uh, value of t here and all the other terms are known to us so we can easily calculate what is the temperature so here the temperature we get it as um 50.023 degrees celsius okay so if you know the uh, if you know the formula and the terms used in it very well you can easily solve any of the newton's uh, cooling um means a law of questions okay let's move on to the next one which is non-linear uh, differential equation so here the equ uh, differential equation will be as follows like dy by dx will be having a square or uh, it will be in the equation as uh, like it uh, usually it is y right here it will be having dy by dx also so how to solve is that uh, first take dy by dx as p after taking it as p just write the equation in the form like uh, instead of dy by dx write p there and after you get in this form uh, means um, factorize it after you factorize you'll get two terms here equate it to zero so two answers you will get p is equal to one and p is equal to minus x y solve for each of these if p is equal to one dy by dx is equal to one right so integrate it separately and what answer you get is the first answer second answer also will do in the similar way and what answer you get is the second answer total answer is nothing but uh, answer one into answer two okay that is equal to zero that's the final answer so in all types of uh, non-linear differential equation this is the same thing you will follow dy by dx you have to write p and solve the equation and finally what answers you get multiply it okay moving on to the next one which is uh, claridge equation and its singular form so here two types of question can come just the claridge equation or the reducible to claridge equation okay so let's solve the first one which is the uh, direct uh, claridge equation so here uh, find the general and singular solution of the claridge equation y is equal to px plus a by p so here it's of the form uh, px plus f of a because px is here and f of a is because a by p is there so the general solution will be uh, replace wherever you have p as uh, c okay after that differentiate with respect to c what answer you get here is uh, like c is equal to uh, root a by x and the singular solution will be just replacing the wherever you uh, have c here in the equation they, uh, they uh, replace it as uh, root a by x so the main equation of claridge equation is that uh, removal of the uh, other terms like p and all okay just having the x terms okay and for this simplification will give us the following equation which is y square is equal to 4 a square x square okay now this is the second type of question which is the reduce the equation px minus y and py plus x equal to 2p to the claridge form by taking the substitution x is equal to x square and y is equal to y square here you have to pay some attention okay so listen carefully what's happening so this is the equation which is given to us px minus y py plus x is equal to 2p okay now it's given x is equal to x square and y is equal to y square differentiate both of these what you will get is uh, dy by dx is, uh, is, is, is uh, dy by dy is equal to 2y dx by dx is equal to uh, 2x this with respect to x and this with, uh, with respect to y okay after that take uh, dy by dx as p as usual and divide the equation 4 by uh, 5 by 4 so uh, divide uh, these both equation what you it is dy by dx is equal to uh, y by x dy by dx okay after that dy by dx can be written as p and this is nothing but the p which is needed to be founded and uh, since we have taken uh, y is equal to y square x is equal to x square so if we take the roots here what answer we get is root y by root x okay root y by root x here for these two x's new x okay and uh, we'll get the p value as root x y into p we'll be substituting this value here in wherever we find p in the equation and after that uh, we'll be simplifying the equation after simplification we'll get this answer here the reduced form so in this reduced form substitute the value of p as c and uh, yeah that's all what you have to do and square the equation so we'll get this answer
actually we are not squaring but uh, replacing x by x square okay means uh, it's given in the question right take the value of x as x square and y as y square we are just resubstituting the uh, values which you have taken so when you do that we'll get this answer here c uh, y square is equal to cx square plus uh, minus 2c by c plus 1 okay so that's all about the uh, two types of Clarets equation one is direct other is the reducible and solving now the last uh, topic is the theoretical topic as well as one derivation is there which is the flow of electricity lr circuits so each electrical circuit have three elements which is resistance inductance and capacitance active element uh, uh, voltage source with uemf uh, uemf e and the uh, current i at uh, any time t so uh, the question uh, can be as follows in the exam a series of resistance uh, inductance and uh, uh, emf is governed by de uh, l i l d i by dt plus r i is equal to e well, uh, where uh, lr are constant and initial at the initially the current is zero find the current at any time t so first thing what you have to do here is that given resistance is uh, between the current um resistance and the inductance e is equal to l uh, di by dt plus ri is equal to e then uh, we have to just uh, write the equation here and rearrange it so we'll get the answer as um, like uh, di by dt will be here only and e will be means l will be forwarded to here and it will be divided by um, r also so what we basically did is divide the whole equation by l so after we do that we'll get the value of p and q this of the form dy by dx plus p uh, y is equal to q so they will get the value of p and q find out the integrating factor answer and uh, substitute the value in i like uh, i into integrating factor is equal to integral q into dx so instead of x we have t here so we'll just uh, find out the normal integration and uh, what answer we get is the final answer and initially it's given that i is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 substitute those values to get the value of constant k and after that uh, we'll be using that value of k which we got here in the main equation okay so basically there are a few more numericals and problems which we'll be solving in another video and uh, that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one